As we told you last night, Kansas City Royals owner David Glass is looking to sell the club for a whopping $1 billion. The Royals' value has skyrocketed in the 19 years that Glass is on the team, but is a billion-dollar estimate too much for a team that has one of the worst records in the American League this season? Our Abigail James joins us live now at Kauffman Stadium after looking into what makes the Royals worth that much. Abigail? Well, in April of this year, Forbes had actually valued the Royals at $1.025 billion. And we talked to a sports economic professor today who says that much of that value lies in the amount of uh, television revenue and national revenue that the new owner is going to have the rights to. For Kansas University sports economics professor Dan Keister, the price is right at where it should be. It would be silly to sell it for less. But like it or not, the Royals have been one of the worst teams in all of baseball this year. So why the large price tag? Keister says it's a safe asset. I think it's hard for anyone to get their head around a team that is struggling, uh, being worth a billion dollars, but they're part of that entity of Major League Baseball that is really stable right now, uh, relatively good labor situation, the, 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 the TV money's guaranteed for the foreseeable future. Keister says the price tag is also comparable to other teams at size. Check out the recent figures from Forbes. There are no MLB teams on this list with an estimated value less than $1 billion. A total of 13 teams were between $1 and $1.3 billion. The Yankees were listed as the most valuable team at $4.6 billion. What's happened in sports in recent years is these teams have been a fantastic investment because of exactly what we're seeing, a five-fold increase in the value of the franchise over, you know, 15 to 20 years. According to Keister, if you're a Royals fan, you should be glad that the team is being valued with a billion dollar price tag. Because that shows that it is a really valuable asset in Kansas City, you know, that it's a really stable situation. Uh, if, and I think, you know, from what I know about the potential owner, uh, that they would be committed to Kansas City, which would be uh, even more of a positive. Now, the lease at Kauffman Stadium is up in January of 2031. The successor will inherit that lease. Now, according to the Jackson County Sports Authority, there's not really an option of the Royals leaving Kansas City right now because of that lease. They say there's actually a clause written in the contract that says if they leave early, the penalty could be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, which they say would not be worth it. So once the Royals are sold, you can expect the team to stay right here for at least the next 12 years. Reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV5 news.